we certainly know that it was a professional job. Uh, Dario Dugina had just left um, an estate uh, where an event, uh, a cultural event named Tradition had been taking place and her father had given a lecture there, presumably on those uh, uh, extreme right-wing uh, ethno-nationalist politics that you've just mentioned. Um, five minutes later, a massive blast uh, blew the car apart as she was driving um, into Moscow on the Majersk Highway, which is one of the key roads uh, uh, coming into Moscow from, from the southwest of the city. Um, the car then crashed, uh, engulfed in flames. Um, she was killed instantly, as far as we know. Russian investigators have said they found the remains of a bomb. Uh, they say it was quite clearly premeditated and bore the hallmarks of a contract killing. Um, and they're keeping an open mind as, as to who. Um, Obviously, uh, people like this and Daria did indeed share the, the politics of her father. She was also known as a, as a blogger and a speaker um, at right-wing events in Russia and abroad, as far as I'm aware. Um, there are always going to be people who will want to um, attack such people. Uh, Dugin himself had called for Ukrainians to be killed. They should be killed, 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 he said, uh, eight years ago after Russia seized Crimea. Uh, at the moment, there's no known perpetrator, although right-wing, other right-wing uh, Russian commentators and the head, indeed, of RT, Margarita Simonyan, um, said that this was clearly the work of Ukraine, although the Ukrainians have uh, strongly denied that, of course. And what can you tell us about the uh, the politics and, and the philosophy of Dugina and, and of her father, Alexander Dugin, and actually how influential he is in Russia? There's some debate about that. Uh, to what extent he's influential on Putin himself or how close he is. There's no known photograph of the pair taken together. But certainly the politics he's been advancing uh, for the last 20 or so years um, have become more mainstream. Uh, he wrote a book in 1997 um, uh, on the... Uh, geopolitics of Russia, the foundation, foundations of geopolitics, it's called. And this is all about advancing the idea of a common Eurasian space in which there's no room for Ukraine, Ukrainians, uh, their culture, their identity. Now, this is something which used to be pretty fringe. Um, these ideas have been around, actually, as long as Russia's been around, they bear some similarity in the kind of way they're propagated to those uh, lies about um, uh, the elders, uh, the protocols of the elders of Zion, which were uh, first set up in in Russia over 100 years ago, and the Nazis used as an excuse to uh, attack the Jews during the Second World War. Um, these extreme ideas have become more mainstream as Vladimir Putin's Kremlin has become more and more autocratic. And last year, Putin gave an extensive speech basically saying there was no such thing as a Ukrainian state, there was no such thing as Ukrainian identity, borrowing a lot of the ideas from Dugin and these type of people. Um, and those ideas were then set out more clearly just a few days before the war uh, was launched on February the 24th against Ukraine. So, um, I mean, Dugin is an unusual character. He's been around a long time. As recently as three years ago, he was debating uh, with uh, the French philosopher um, Bernard Henry Levy at, at uh, the Nexus Symposium in Amsterdam. So, I mean, this is somebody who's known, um, who certainly had some influence, um, would certainly have had some enemies as to who would benefit from killing the daughter. And the daughter was apparently driving a car that some say was her father's, although I understand it was registered in her name. Uh, who would benefit is always the question. Um, whether it would benefit the Ukrainians at a time when they're targeting Russian military depots and supply dumps behind Russian lines, why would they do this? Again, why would the Kremlin do this uh, when it doesn't need any excuse to up the ante in Ukraine? So it's very difficult to say at this stage uh, who may be responsible for this.